I'm going to give you guys several tips whenever you are top athletes and you're trying to figure out, you keep hearing, ah, you shouldn't intermittent fast or you shouldn't fast during your training camp. Look, this is what I do and we do this on a professional level. We will never do anything or give any advice to athletes that would not benefit them. So when you have all this food right here, we have chicken breasts, peppers, mushrooms, onions, and filet mignon. Now you've seen in the other uh, show of Food for Fighters where we told you if you're focusing and you're eating three meals a day, then you must stick with sirloin. But now the fact that you're intermittent fasting, what you can do is you can have any kind of steak, any kind of meat, and it won't affect you because you need that caloric intake to maximize your nutrient value because you're putting out so much. So let me explain that. You basically can eat as much as you want to that one time a day. You get up, you can start it off with the ketogenic coffee. Now, if you guys are intermittent fasting, the key is Bulletproof Coffee. This is the ketogenic coffee brand. Now, this is like $20 a bag. You can find it in Harris Teeter. See, when you're doing your intermittent fasting and you're doing your Bulletproof Coffee, which is your meal replacement, this carries you through the entire morning. Now, what that consists of is the ketogenic coffee. It needs absolutely nothing because it comes with the MCT oil and the grass-fed butter. It has it all in here. You don't have to do anything. Take a scoop out, stir it up into your hot water and you are golden. So these are the key things when you're building and learning more about your body, all of the different colors, all of your nutrients. You can maximize your calorie intake in that short amount of time, man, and it's good to go. All you'll do is you'll go 16 hours without food. You eat up until 8 p.m. These are the principalities of intermittent fasting. And at 11 a.m. or 12, you go into your next meal. Prior to that, you're having your coffee and it'll hold you three and a half to four hours. So trust me, when you want to stay lean during your training camp, it's important that you set yourself up for success and look at the guys. They're putting out, they're training hard. My fighters are three to four, five, six pounds off of weight throughout the entire training camp because we're not doing uh, the biggest loser during training camp. Our focus is to train, learn skills, techniques, craft, and focus on game planning. We don't have time to be losing weight during camp. You should be doing that off center. So as you see right now, we're about to get the spread popping. And if you're an athlete and you need to learn more, simply go out to the site, check us out, we got you covered. We got the meal plan, especially for the fighters who are out there not knowing exactly what to do. We got you covered. You will partake in a little intermittent fasting to get your body really aligned and ready to go and prep you for that weight loss before you get going into camp real good. You're doing the calories, it's all good. Calories are your friend. And trust me, we got you covered. And remember, continue to check us out because right here you're getting the boxing skills, you're getting the fight breakdowns, you're getting inside and behind the scenes on strategies in the fights, and we got you covered with the food for fighters. Until next time, Eric A. Bradley signing out, AKA The Real Fight Doctor. Be blessed at God's speed, so long.